This is the disassembly of a Stryker 1510 stretcher. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is two people. Then you're going to need a hammer and a half inch wrench. Sometimes they are 7 um, The very first thing you want to do is lock your brake. And you want to jack the system all the way up. Here, get up. You have a bolt right here. This bolt is actually a 7 16, it's not a half inch. When you take this bolt out, it is going to release the black rubber. It's not a problem. It releases and goes down. Come to the other end and repeat the same step. My apologies, 5 16 Now is the time to get your other person, one at both ends. You want to take the hammer and you want to tap up on this bar where you took the bolt out. You want to tap up. Shaft will sometimes get stuck. The other guy's already pulled his side. Now you're done. Okay, for reinstall, you follow the same instructions in reverse order. First step you want to do is you want to look at your base. Find your headpiece. Your headpiece for your bar that goes on the shaft is stationary. It's not allowed to move. The foot piece is adjustable so you can match it up with the two shafts. You always want to put the headpiece on first. All you do, get it over the shaft, drop it in place. Now who? Drop it in place. Then if you move it, if you move it and secure it, it's in the top. Once you get the two bars in place, you pull your back black rubber up. There's a hole in the back. You adjust it, you put it in place, finger tighten it to get it started as tight as you can with your fingers, and then put your wrench on it and tighten it up so it doesn't come out. Follow the same step on the rear, on where your feet go. You pull the black rubber up, you put your nut in, and you tighten it down. Once you tighten your nut down all the way, you're complete. 